Hello and welcome back to Urban Empire. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you're having a wonderful day because we have something to discuss. Your wife gave birth to your first child, Conrad. From early on, it became clear that he's not blessed with mental health. As he grows up, people become afraid of him and your entire family is frowned upon as rumors as to what caused the disability run rampant. Some say it's because my wife is so progressive. Some blame me for being too liberal. Others question my morality, but most agree that it's God's punishment for my bad deeds. How do I deal with this? Well, I think I'm going to rebuke the accusations and live life as I used to, which perhaps all parties will have a slight negative position towards me, but I don't care. Don't care. I'm gonna, I'm gonna rebuke those claims because they're ridiculous. Uh, we do, however, have some business to attend to today, ladies and gents, in the form of taxes, because I've been doing some reading. As I mentioned in the previous one, I was gonna look up how to uh, solve the bankruptcy problems of companies, and there wasn't really anything definitive that I could find online about it. And I could have went and watched some other Let's Plays of this, but I didn't want to do that because I didn't want to risk copying anyone. Uh, but I read the subreddit, I read the game manual, and the only thing I could really find to fix issues like uh, bankruptcy, for example, was possibly uh, lowering taxes on the citizens and possibly lowering taxes on businesses as well. Or alternatively, somehow incentivizing people to be paid more. I don't really know what the definite solution would be, but my reasoning behind my, my thinking is that the game is set up in such a way that citizen uh, happiness in a lot of ways is tied to how much money they make. If they make enough money, they are gonna go to a shop and buy things. If they don't have the money, they're not going to be happy about it. If they can afford the things, then in theory, that would mean that the shop is going to make money because the shop is being paid for the products, which means the shop has the money to go to industry and buy the products there, which should in turn incentivize more industrial growth, which would incentivize residential growth for the workers, which would incentivize commercial premises for people to shop from and then would incentivize industrial growth because yeah it goes in a circle like that so that's my thinking i don't know if that's how it works but my first thing i would like to do is go to the council and i'm gonna propose something that might seem silly but i'm gonna go to taxes i'm gonna begin with business tax and we're gonna raise business tax to 17 percent and then lower citizen tax to 13%. Possibly. Um, let's do it that way. 12% citizen tax, maybe 18%? 12% citizen tax, 18% business tax. That might be backwards. What that might do is cause businesses to have even less money because more of it's being taxed. Um, bring that down to 17. But it does mean our citizens will have more money. So we're going to see what happens. We'll propose that. It will most likely be approved without too much interference from myself. Uh, we could maybe talk to the old Swarelian party and say, hey, guys, let's, um, let's boost the economy with this. They did come over a little bit. The Free Democratic Party, I don't have much goodwill with them, and they are not supportive at all of the physiocrats. So there's not really much point trying to get them to side with approve because the physiocrats are approving this. The Free Democratic Party is not going to. So that's fine. That is actually something that is going to go through Congress without too much hassle. Uh, might incentivize some growth. Especially since we are taxing our citizens less and our businesses more, we History. might do some good stuff here. Uh, but I do want to look into into uh, researching something like this, perhaps, uh, which is going to give us 
a central hospital, which is health to all residents. Quite expensive, but it will be quite useful. Uh, surgical hygiene as an edict, which will boost health, for example. Uh, it'll boost women's safety and population growth. But it does insult the elite by suggesting that doctors are causing death in, uh, deaths in clinics. I, I think that would be a good one to go for. So we'll start that and get it going. And uh, what is this? Limited liability companies, LLCs. If I support this, then we are boosting a lot of things. Demand for per demand change for personal growth from all citizens goes up. The demand change for security goes up. Demand change for social life goes up. Uh, bonus to physical environment goes up. But there are there's a lot of bonuses as well as demand changes. So we're going to support this. The Imperial Council to introduce legislation for a new type of company. The Imperial Council is debating the authorization of a new form of company ownership, the Limited Liability Company, or LLC for short. Would allow company owners to limit the personal financial risk involved in owning a company, thus enabling more people to found companies. The conservative left is afraid that this would diminish the state's ability to influence the economy. I don't know if I agree with that. It does look like it's going to go our way. I'm going to go to the Social Democrats and say, look, I know you're on the fence, but most citizens agree with this, so come on over to the good side. There you go. That should really go our way with it too much hassle. Now, modifying the taxes is going to go our way, but I will say to the old Swirlian party that I would like them to come over our way a little bit further. And then we'll go back to the council and we'll begin counting the votes. Which, for the most part, should go our way without too much hassle. So, there we go. 20 against 41 for. That's the tax has changed. We should now see more income. Not as much as I'd necessarily like. Um, but definitely noticeably more income. Uh, now, what was the... Oh, hello. Labor unions. It's proposed that citizens... Yes, let them have unions. That's fine. That'll be an interesting one. Um... There were some arrows popping up above some of these businesses, though, that were facing up. They were upward-pointing arrows. I'm curious as to what they were. But thus far, there's no businesses saying that they're bankrupt. And that's actually really good. I will say that those uh, bankruptcy notification things, bubbles, I guess, above buildings, do disappear when you reload the game. So they will take a little bit to pop back up. Now, this one is low efficiency in the company. I don't know what causes that. I would assume education. But I have no idea. Uh, now, this is looking like it's going to go our way. The right to form unions looks like it's going to go our way as well, which is good. Little bit of demand for residential zoning there is actually kind of nice, but I would like that to be higher. I would... Re oh, well, we have actually got uh, a bankruptcy thing popping up here. Company is bankrupt. Actually, a couple of them popping up. Hopefully, we'll be all right on that. That's still going our way. 11 to 19. That's still going our way as well. Let's just have a look around. So, there's there looks to be less companies popping up with the bankruptcy issues. There's one down there as well. Um, no, they're coming back in force. Oh, they are definitely coming back in force. So, maybe that wasn't the solution. Maybe, maybe turning the taxes the way I did actually made things worse. That said, we do have a little bit of residential demand, so maybe, maybe before we completely lose everything, we might want to look into a new district. That might be worth doing. We could do this. It is expensive, but it would bring some more money in from taxes, which I'm definitely keen to do. We'll make it a bit more dense, and we'll confirm the land plan. District density... I mean, we for a start, we don't need industry. We probably want like 90% residential. Uh, so those are going to be mixed areas. That's fine. Um, confirm that. Or do, do we want to go medium density? No, that's way too expensive. Confirm this zoning. This is going to be a hard fight to get this in here. Uh, Infrastructure is going to have to be fine. Services, we can't afford. District overview, propose it. Middle of the field, mostly against. I could use my personal funds to pay for this. But if this goes wrong, then we are screwed. But I've paid for it. Let's run the game. 
There's a little bit of growth coming in. We are severely bankrupt. But that's fine. Because as this growth comes in, we will see the money go back up. I hope. I sincerely, sincerely hope. Uh, we're going to form labor unions. That's fine. So that's being approved. Uh, no problem. Exit. And then limited liability companies also being approved. Let's go ahead and uh, get all those counted. And again, exit. And we've got the new companies as well. So both of those things have gone ahead. We have got new people coming in here. There's a tax proposal. Kilgannon is losing money every day. The Social Democratic Party suggests that middle class taxes could be increased. Um, yes, remarkably. We're going to increase middle class taxes. I feel like that's besides the point of lowering the taxes earlier, but we'll see what happens. Uh, epidemiology, epidemiology, or whatever. Uh, that researched. Communications advances, typewriters, shops closed on Sundays. No, I think we're going to go for electricity on this one. All right, God's wrath. Oh, good. Whatever the proposition, big or small, you can guarantee that Simeon von Filsen will oppose it. He claims that your son's mental state is the price you pay to the devil to rise from the lower class to become mayor. And on other days, the deal with the devil is the reason others support your causes. On any normal day, you can disregard his ramblings. But on the day that you hear your wife is pregnant again, you lose your temper for the first time. While deeply regretting your outburst later on, how did you respond? I'm going to say that it's hard to take any of your accusations seriously. Now, what have we got here? For decades, there's been a debate in the medical field on what causes disease. Slowly, the idea that miasma or bad odors cause illness is losing ground, and doctors agree that there's something else at play here. Whose work should we focus on? So, we can establish basic hygiene practices, which I think is a good idea, personally. Uh, this one isn't highlighting anything different. And this one is mandatory vaccinations. I'm going to go with this one. Might be a hard one to push through, but we're going to try it. Surgical hygiene. Um, actually went through. Interesting. That went through very quickly. Nationalist art. The most radical of the radical nationalists in the Young Swirlian Party want Kilgannon to adopt national romanticism as the official art form. The city would give... Special recognition to artists who wish to participate in creating a strong national identity. Um, I think it's up to the council. If the council approves it, then whatever. That's fine. If the council doesn't approve it, then whatever. It's, it is really, it, it is a council decision. It's not really my decision to make. Uh, so modify taxes is we're highly in favor of that, apparently. That's gone through with no problem. We're going to exit and uh, we'll head back out to here. So we have just further increased taxes, which has brought the monthly budget balance up a little bit. I reckon if we can fill up this area here, we will have no problem with that balance. And they voted in favor of it. Endorse national romanticism. It's a democracy, guys. It's what we do. We vote on these things, and uh, they voted to endorse it, so I can't really say no. Uh, now, interestingly, this area is continuing to grow, which is really nice. There doesn't seem to be really anywhere here that's a mixed type of, uh, of property. There's low employment from there, which I suppose is kind of interesting. But for the most part, I think we might be able to bring our balance back. Now, looking at electricity, we have electrical innovations which are spreading around the world. As my city administration becomes more familiar with the concept, a decision is required. Do I focus my effort on finding the easiest way to produce electricity or transmit it or to use it? I think production is the key thing to learn here. I think, I think it's production. The Free Democratic Party think that the lower class tax rate is too low. Um, sure, I'll support it. 
Apparently, we're going to raise taxes on the lower class, which makes them feel a little bit less safe, but there you go. That's apparently how this is going to work. Um, we are pretty much going to be strongly in favor of this by the looks of it. Let's use a bit of goodwill to say that this is what the city desperately needs. Going back to the city view, I mean, we are now making money. Even if it is just a little bit, we are still making money with a tax increase in the lower class, which admittedly is maybe a bit shady. That's maybe not the best thing to do. Um, it is going to bring that budget up even further, so we'll begin voting. Obviously, we know it's going to go our way. But I do think, you know, recovering... Uh, it's only a 1% increase anyway, so it's not going to be huge. So, yeah, 1% increase brought the budget up by 1,000. Really not that much. Really, really not that much. But uh, if we can keep our budget in the positive, then we're sorted. Now, what is this? Company unable to grow. Why is the company unable to grow? That's what I'd like to know. Uh, do we want the telephone? Police call box, public library. I feel like the telephone might be a good idea. Let's head that way. It gets me, it gets me banking as well, which I think I'd want. Uh, company bankrupt. Yeah, there's still massive, massive bankruptcy issues across all of this. The Young Swirlian Party just won the election. Good for the Young Swirlian Party. Uh, what, what's, what's up with you? I don't know what any of these arrows mean. I really don't. Now, this company is also unable to grow. Why can I not... Oh, I can't demolish buildings currently. Interesting. Oh, we're making 13k all of a sudden. 14k. Where did that come from? I guess some of my companies are growing. I, I have no idea. But how have we suddenly started making this money? I have no idea where that's suddenly come from, but okay. Uh, what's this about the telephone then? So as your city is being connected to the National Telephone Network, I need to decide how Kilgannon will handle the issue. I think we need to make sure it enlightens people. I'm also thinking that possibly my money here is coming from the fact that there is average fun across the city. Like, nothing's negative up here. The average security across the city is pretty good as well. So I think my theory was right. Um, sort of. My theory that keeping citizens happy is is how you get things to sort of work. I have no, I don't know how I've done this is really what I need to say. I don't know how this works, but somehow I've got 20,000 coming in every month, so whatever. Uh, they think the lower class tax rate is too low. Really? Um, I don't think it is, but I'll take more money, so, and for the most part, we seem to be approving it. So, this will give me goodwill with the Free Democratic Party. Change a 1% increase on tax in the lower, lowest class. Citizens who voted for the Free Democrats are more likely to do so. A bonus of minus one to the lowest class. Uh, prestige of minus one towards me. That's fine. And that's fine. So what are we looking at here? We're going to get this through again. Okay. Okay. I guess, I mean, this is, this is how it's going to work. Apparently. If that's, if this, if this is something that I'm being proposed like if they're coming to me and saying look buddy let's do some things here then so be it really uh, and I, interestingly there is a little bit of commercial demand up here which is exciting because it means i can get myself into a position where i could potentially go ahead and build another district which i would really like to do so that was fairly successful uh let's go back then we have another one percent tax increase which brings my budget per month up to twenty thousand again 21,000, uh, 23,000, 24,000. Interesting. So children be legally entitled to education. Uh, it does look like you would need to be fairly, extremely liberal and extremely left to really want to go for this. Uh, we are going to have to for, uh, fight against the old Swirlian party. And most likely the Free Democrats. 
but I am going to fight in favor of this. We're not going to have to fight that hard, actually. Which is good. Let's look at the progress cloud for a second. So aluminium is going to give me aluminium, which will increase sales in certain industries. Uh, railroad level crossing is an upgrade for the railroad station, which we don't have. And unlocks clocksmiths. Dynamite lets me dismantle a building. We can support asbestos insulation. Arms industry can be benefited. Um, personally, I'm sort of looking at possibly combustion as a thing. Because we assembly line's very good. The assembly line is uh, very, very good for uh, production. So I think combustion might be the way to go. Let's do that. And then look at the rights to school. So this is pretty much going to go our way. I am going to go to the Social Democrats and say, look, let's get you approving this quite strongly. Let's go to the Physiocrats and say, look, the city really needs this. And we're also going to go to the Free Democrats. And we're not going to do anything, actually, because we don't have that much goodwill with them. Uh, but we should, should be able to do some good things here. Carla's education. Your daughter Carla is not old enough to enter school. While normally girls would only get a, no a nominal education, you've decided to give Carla the best education possible. After trying in vain to get her into, uh, uh, let's try that. Let's try that again. After trying in vain to get her into local grammar school with boys, there should be into a local grammar school with boys. You can see where I was struggling there. You're pondering the best way to ensure she learns more than just reading, sewing, and playing music. Let's hire the best possible home teacher. As talented as possible, things seem to go well, but bit by bit, I notice the shortcomings of just, ah, yes, that is, that is maybe true. Uh, that's fine. That's not too bad. What's this is about the asylum system? It's becoming increasingly difficult to make sure Carla's education continues as planned. She and her brother Conrad have, have grown fond of each other, but it's almost impossible for the mentally disabled teenager to understand why his younger sister shouldn't be dis disturbed for so many hours in a row. Fits of rage are daily occurrences, and he's already big enough to do bodily harm to the nannies trying to restrain him. Um... I don't want to chain him. I don't want to send him to an asylum. Um, I guess we send Carla to a girls' school. Carla's too young to understand the consequences of my decision. She often comes home complaining, asking why she can't study physics. Oh, wow. Uh, I feel bad, no? <laughs> the pessimist trait. I didn't want to. I didn't want to send me son into an asylum. I didn't want to send him into a freaking asylum or chain him to something. Jesus. Oh, why do it make me feel bad no matter what I choose, game? Thanks. Uh, let's just try and get those guys voting a bit more strongly towards that anyway. Um, demand is looking good there. Residential demand. This whole area here is residential. There's no commercial in there whatsoever. Little bit of commercial demand. What's this about public transport? The Social Democrats have proposed making public transport free for every citizen. What'll that do? Money that citizens can use on private companies. Seems like a good one. Change in monthly city fund expenses. Of plus five to metro, bus network, and tram lines. Now we don't, do we have any of those? I, I don't know. I actually have no idea. Let me let me have a look. So city income from other. I mean, we don't have any at the moment, do we? Do we? We don't have public transport. So sure, we'll make it free because in theory this shouldn't shouldn't be something that's um we need to worry about. I think. I don't think we have public transport. I d we don't have public transport. I, I would know. I would know if we had public transport, right? Surely I would know this kind of thing. Is there public transport? Isn't there public transport? There must... 
We have, we can put a railway station down. We can put a university down. Um, we can't, we can't really afford anything other than a port and a railway station. Uh, it might be worth adding a railway station though, because we can add one of those. We can add it over, where can we add this actually? I have no idea. The railway station gets added to somewhere around here. There's always, there's, there's going to be an icon for it somewhere, I think. There is where the railway station would go. So, I can't afford that. That is going to boost companies. It's going to add a bit to uh, the, what is it, the self-growth or something? Whatever that is. The average personal growth and also to fun. It's expensive, but we can't afford it. So, I'm going to try it. We're going to confirm the institution. It looks like most are going to vote to approve it. The problem is how expensive it is. So maybe, maybe we don't want to do, ooh, hold on a minute. No, 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 cancel that. Let's not do that. Because I, ju I did just notice it is $2 million. So that seems like a bit much. Uh, so the right to school should be, yeah, that's going to go through. Free public transport, for the most part, probably, probably will go through. Let's have the old Swirlians come back this way a little bit. There we go. And uh, I guess we're just going to sit and make more money for a while. Combustion, what have we got? The world has seen the first few commercial internal combustion engines. As your city administration looks into the possibilities of this invention, they find out that it has several possible benefits to offer society. Should we prepare for expanding the roads or encourage local production? I'm going to encourage local production because what that's going to do is bring up the sales demand of whatever that is by minus 10%. I have no idea what that means. Gonna be honest. Uh, so the free public transport is gonna go go my way. I don't know if that's done anything massive to my budget because I don't think we have public transport. Uh, no, my budget did go up. So I have no idea. I have no idea. I really don't. Oh God. I have no idea what that did. But I'll take it. I mean, I've got 33,000 coming in, 34,000 coming in every month. Um, the right to school is about to be voted on. We're going to win that. So that's good. That's that's perfect. The right to school is going to go through. We don't really have to worry about it. We are going to have both the Free Democratic Party and the Physiocrats opposing it. But the Swirlian parties and the Social Democratic parties are in favor of it. So children legally entitled to school. Which is good. That's what we want. We want people learning. We want people demanding better jobs. We want people having a better education. We want them being smart. Whether or not they want to go to school is a different story. Let's go to the progress cloud and see what we have. So let's get the assembly line. We get automobiles for the middle class, the car industry, Hardware, passenger terminal, which is an upgrade for the port. Let's start the research on that because the assembly line seems like a good place to go. And shouldn't take that long to uh, research either. No, that's me. That's me general log book. That's fine. Free transportation. What? Demanded free public transport for workers. Um... We have free public transport, though. We already we already have this. I mean, what is this going to do? This is just going to give more money for citizens to private companies? I honestly have no idea. Let's do it, I guess. I don't know if anyone's really going to be in favor of this, but... No, apparently we are mostly in favor of this. It seems like a weird thing to be in favor of because we already have free public transport, but whatever. I guess. I really I really don't know why we are voting on something that I'm fairly sure we already have. But to each their own, I suppose. I, d I don't get it. Uh, I mean, it's going to go our way either way. We're going to we're going to get this. We're going to vote on it. We're going to see that we, of course, win. 
Does it give more money to private companies because people have that money to spend? I don't know because I just don't know if the people were spending that money to begin with. I really, I really don't know. I, I can't imagine they were spending that money to begin with because there was never anything to spend it on. So it just seems kind of weird to me that that was even a, a, a thing to vote on. Either way, we have some considerable city money at the moment. Uh, the monthly budget balance is pretty good. So what I'm thinking we do is we either go ahead and build that train station that I wanted. What's this about assembly line? A few companies have risen to success by implementing assembly lines in their facilities. The principle behind the idea seems so simple and rational that the city administration has several ideas on how it could help your city flourish. Do we focus on implementing it to the port? We don't have one. Uh, write the principle down in a manual that the companies can use or find solutions to work for them. Um, that one. So that has brought that sales demand. I don't, I don't know. Is, is that good? I really don't know. I assume the ba the background was green, so I have to imagine that that's a good thing. I notice my income is coming going up. It's at forty five thousand now, so one assumes that's a good thing. Um, let's not bother with a district currently. Let's place. We could place a port. Could definitely place a port. It would boost companies. I think I will. It's a cheaper option than the train station as well. So we're going to confirm that. Uh, it seems that everyone's going to approve that. So we will go for a quickened vote using two prestige to do so. Uh, so they're going to vote on the new institution. Yeah, that's that's going to go our way, no problem. And we can afford it, which is even better. So let's get ourselves a port into the city. It's not going to take very long at all to get that vote in and begin voting. So no one party is going to side against the port. Individuals might have, but no party itself did. So now we have a port. We're not making as much money as we once were. But this isn't bad. Not bad at all. And I could look into... No, I couldn't look into upgrading it because we don't currently have any. Uh, but what that should do is, like it said, it should boost companies. I think... Yeah, there's definitely fewer companies with uh, bankruptcy issues. So I think we might have actually managed to get it so that people do, in fact, have more money to spend on private companies. Even though they weren't actually spending it on on, on, on public transport. So that seems really weird. Either way, the hydraulics could be interesting. Gets us the barber chair. Barbershop industry companies receive a sales bonus. We also unlock the barbershop industry. Aluminium is increased sales in certain industries. I think we'll go with that. That seems fine by me. This seems good though. The business, the cafe business is currently booming. Fair enough. Um, I don't really think I want to increase taxes anywhere at the moment. I don't think that would be necessary. We are losing a bit of money though. We're oh yeah, no, there's a lot of businesses just for whatever reason just uh, suddenly went bankrupt in one go there. Stowaways, what's this? So the steamer Maria Teresa arrived in Kilgannon and to the crew's great surprise, they found five stowaways in the hold. They were hungry and sick and none had money for the passage. The captain asks you what should be done with them. Send them to prison. If they can pay for the journey, they can go free or let them go without punishment. Well, we're not going to do that one because that seems a bit silly and sets a bad precedent. It does already say that they don't have the money for passage. So saying that if they have the, if they can pay for the journey, they can go free. That seems dumb. Sending them to prison does seem extreme though. Um... But either, I mean, they were stowaways. So I think, honestly, prison has to be the one we go for. And it doesn't really do anything other than make me cruel, apparently. I mean, I, I at the end of the day, they did break the law. That's what they did. Uh, we are also really running into problems here. And I'm noticing as well, I'm noticing that we're running into problems as the environment stat comes down, the fun stat comes down. I'm noticing that it does seem to be tied to all of these stats. So 
Yeah, that's that's curious. Young Cerulean Party won the election again. That's fine. So, a French scientist has made a, an historic discovery and found a cheap way to produce aluminium. As the city administrator's administration has been looking into it, they're excited about the possibilities of using aluminium in different places. Let's make parks more pleasant. Let's make the city a little bit more beautiful if we can. Although it might be worth looking into, uh, might be worth looking into another park or two because we don't actually really have one in here. Uh, what are the complaints here? Low employment. I do find that difficult to believe considering, I mean, there's, there's no demand for more employment. So I, I don't get that at all. I really don't. Does this show me, like, all the businesses and stuff in here? That's interesting. I, I've never looked at the, um, at the specifics of this. So the happiness in general isn't great. Which is kind of annoying. Uh, the lower class are very, very unhappy. I think I'm going to try, perhaps to make this district just a bit better looking. So I can go to modify. I could look at district density, but that doesn't seem like a good one to go for yet. Um, I kind of like the idea of throwing in a small park. We could throw in a public library though. Might be a better idea. Um, and we can't afford it. Yeah. Let's throw a public library in there. Most are going to support it. So we'll do a quick vote. And we'll get that through Congress nice and quickly. We'll see if uh, that's maybe going to help the district considerably. What's this about feminism? Let's have a read. Your daughter Carla has become accustomed to fighting her own fights. Taking more after her strong-willed mother than after you. <laughs> that sounded really... Taking more after her mother than after you. Okay. Her pure stubbornness managed to get her special admission to the university. When she complains to her mother about the... Chauv uh, whatever. Uh, prejudice and outright abuse she has faced at university, you try to support her as well. Dear father, your love is all I need, but there is no way you could understand how little many men think of women. Okay. Um. Oh god, what is my answer to this? As little as the privileged always do when they look down on others. Um, so you don't understand how little... Okay, so men think of women as little as the privileged always do when they look down on others. Is, is that the correct... Is that the correct answer to go with here? I don't know. But apparently that made me a progressive... That's what I want. That was what I was going for because I explained that I've had fights with the privileged as well. Good. That's the answer I was looking for. That's the one I wanted. I didn't want to be like, I did. Oh, I'm not even going to say it because it could be taken out of context if someone just clips it. But basically, that's the answer I was looking for. All right. Good. Job done. Approve. Bye bye. Vote. Good. Aye. Right. So, the vote has passed to modify that district. That is going to hurt our income, but, but, the environment has gone up by one. This area in general is hopefully going to be seen a little bit better. Aluminium. Oh, hello, we got aluminium. Not bad, not bad. Uh, what else do we need? We could immediately go for era three stuff, even though we're still in era two. Uh, we could look into automobile transportation, which would get us the bus network if we wanted it. I don't know if I want it. Uh, we could look for car store and oil refinery, ferry terminal. This would take 79 months to research. Or we could look into hydraulics, which would take 55. Dynamite would take 50. Well, let's let's do dynamite so we can start dismantling buildings, I guess. Um, my budget's still 13, 15,000. Not bad. Definitely looks like we're doing okay here. Uh, what's this district in general? People are a bit happier in here. People are a, a little bit happier. If we look at happiness in general. Um, 
they they seem happier. They're not very happy with their social life in there, though. Which kind of tells me that they would want something like a, a church, because that does give them a social bonus. Although, isn't there also the theater? No, theater's for fun. They could use some of that as well, though. Um, do I want to give them a church? I mean, I don't really see why not. I could, I could definitely give them a church. It's expensive. It's expensive, that's for sure, but... It might, bo it might give a bonus to happiness in that area, and I mean, we can afford it, so I'm curious to see. Uh, again, we'll do a quick vote. We can afford this. So that will more than likely be approved without too much uh, hassle from me. Yeah, that's going to be fine. No big deal. So we're going to take the vote on whether we build the church. Which again, like I said, no big deal. Going to be approved and done. All right. So we have the church. Income took a hit. But what have we got with dynamite? Alfred Noble from Sweden has combined nitroglycerin with different absorbents and stabilizers to create dynamite. And Guy Fieri was pleased. A safe, powerful explosive, this invention clearly offers many benefits, and your city administration is currently pondering how it could be best used in city construction. I'm going to say the arms industry, uh, because that does actually hopefully help the arms industry sell more. Hopefully. How happy are people in this district? happier than they were. Their social life is a bit better. Uh, obviously, our income did take a hit from building a church, but that's fine. It is hereby proposed that animal cruelty legislation be enacted. Yes, I would like to, I would like to oppose animal cruelty. Uh, we are going to win this for the most part, but we do have some goodwill with these guys, so I'm going to say that I would like you guys to vote and approve this piece of legislation. We have the Oh, look who's shown up finally. We have got some communists. Um, okay. They have ties to international communist movement. Good. Let's see if we can get the old Swirlian party to agree with this as well. There we go. Animal rights shouldn't be too difficult to pass. Uh, but I think, ladies and gents, I'm actually going to leave it there for today. I'd say we're doing okay for ourselves. We have plenty of money. We've turned things around a little bit. We built some more infrastructure in our districts around here. And uh, yeah, I'm actually really, really uh, pleased with uh, how this is coming along. We've got some growth going on. We don't have any demand for anything at the moment. In fact, we have negative demand for a couple of things, but we did get some some uh, some infrastructure. My uh, budget is is suffering a little bit, but. I think I can pull that back up at some point. Maybe pushing the average social life up or something. We'll see. We'll certainly see what we can do. Either way, we'll deal with this first. Um, in half a year, there'll be the Athletics Championship of Sorelia. Kilgannon has lots of capable athletes who can participate in the championship. We will pay for training and... What? Oh, we can't afford that. Is that 500,000 or is that 5 million? Uh, 5... I think that's 500,000. 5, 1, 2, 3... I think that's 500,000. That's fine, as long as it's not 5 million. No, that was that was fine. I couldn't tell! My, my screen, it's, it's a big screen and small text. I've got this in a big screen in a 1080p window, so it was actually quite small. Um... The team of Kilgannon participated in the Athletics Championships of Swirlia. And thanks to intensive training and generous city support, the, athlete, the athletes won several silver medals and a gold as well. The whole city is excited by their success. Good. Good. Now, can I wrap up my episode or are you going to give me something else? No, I'm going to pause. Either way, ladies and gents, yeah, I'm going to leave it there for today. So thank you kind of for watching. If you liked the video, like the video. If you disliked it, dislike it. Don't forget to share it on social media. And... I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.